My parents were first on Souter Street to have a TV, a 12-inch Philco. We were suddenly the most popular family on the block. Philco Corporation played an integral role in the development of radio and television. In 1892, the company opened as Helios Electric at Emerald and Tioga in the Kensington section of Philadelphia. Helios built carbon arc lamps. 1906, Helios changed its name to Philadelphia Storage Battery Company, building batteries for electric cars, trucks, and mine locomotives. Self-starters and electric lights made car batteries boom. In 1919, the Philco name first appeared on the diamond grid battery for automobiles. Early radios needed large electric cells for power. In 1920, Philco began building batteries to recharge radio sets. 1925, Philco built 1 million units to power radios through direct current light sockets. Once the AC vacuum tube was perfected, users could plug the radios directly into house current, making Philco's DC invention obsolete. By 1928, Philco was building complete radios, and in the 1930s, Philco was America's largest producer of radio sets. To remain competitive, Philco diversified in the 30s and 40s into the production of refrigerators and other appliances. By the 1980s, Philco ownership had changed hands many times through Ford, GTE, and North American Philips. The Philco slogan, famous for quality the world over, is now just a memory for Philadelphians proud of their heritage. Philco operated W3XE, one of America's original experimental television stations. Their work on television was halted in the early 1940s for top-secret radar production. In 1941, Philco's airborne radar equipment was used at the Battle of Midway. Philly broadcast pioneer John Lyons recalled television's infantile, creepy crawling beginning at Philco's W3XE. In 1940, John Lyons' agent had his eye on the emerging significance of television and got jobs for Lyons and his friend Joe McGinnis at $5 a week at W3XE. Lyons wrote scripts, acted, painted sets, adapted plays, and called on his friends to participate. The picture quality was terrible, and the studio was lit by huge banks of lights that literally melted makeup. Philco distributed sets to Philadelphia families of means. The sets were sold on the condition that Philco be given reception reports. The mail-in response was close to 100%. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear with John Lyons on W3XE.
You say you can't be tied down and still want the joy of radio listening? Filka Mystery Control is your answer. This astonishing new invention operates a radio from any part of the home or surrounding grounds without the use of a single wire and revolutionizes radio and radio listening. See your Filco dealer today. I'm old-fashioned. I love the moonlight. I love the old-fashioned things The sound of rain upon a window pane 